<laughs> yes, you're flying back and forth. How cute. How entertaining of you. You're making this video so much in more interesting. I love you so much for being so cool and interesting. And I am kind of abusing you by pressing me, by pressing you against my face. And my English is really bad today because I'm making way, way too little videos on YouTube. And I should really change my life and do something about it because my subscribers, they like more videos. <laughs> You're so cute. Love, love. of these what to know if you want to keep or own or take care of an owl series. Before we get into the actual topic of this video, I need to inform you guys about something. And I know this is getting ridiculous, but yeah, it happens. So I have no other option than to inform you guys. In one of my previous videos, bye. <laughs> so in one of my last videos, I told you guys that I was going to stop collaborating with Viral Style and that I was going to start collaborating with Spreadshirt. Now I started designing t-shirts and sweaters and lots of cool stuff on Spreadshirt. Um, but after a while I noticed that almost every design got um, cancelled afterwards. And even though the quality of my designs was really good, so I decided to look further and I found Teespring. And they don't cancel my designs because I have some new designs and they are amazing. And Teespring actually confirmed that they are of great quality, so I've now started designing on Teespring. So yeah, I know it has changed up a lot. Look, is just flying all over the place. It has changed up a lot, uh, but I'm hoping that this time Teespring will, will be my final collaboration. Um, so I will put the link to the Teespring store where I have designed new products in the description box down below. So if you desperately want an owl t-shirt or an owl coffee mug, a pillow, thing, <laughs> something to put over your pillow. My English is so bad today. No, oh no, 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 no. Luki is going to destroy a sock. Luki, no, Luki, come here. No, she thinks it's spray. Oh, there goes my sock. Luki, oh, she's not coming back now. Oh, forget it. She's like, uh-uh, I have this beautiful one day old chick here in my beak. Do you really think I'm going to come to you now? Luki. Let's see if I can get her in front of the camera again, shall we? Looky! Yeah! Good girl! Or boy, whatever. I love you. The same. See? This is unacceptable! And she's... No, 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 no. Okay, so um, I'm just going to accept that my sock is ruined because she's even, even mantling the sock. This is mantling, yeah. She's protecting her prey. Uh, this sock is about to die. Rip the sock. I'm sorry, sock. Why is it so dark? She's probably going to fly off again because, you know, it's her prey. She's like, why are you near me when I have my prey? Okay, so I guess I'll just have to do this video without her. Maybe she'll come back later. Who knows? So, where was I? I will put the link to my Teespring store, which is hopefully the final store, you know, uh, in the description box down below if you want to order something. Now let's get into the video. This topic was actually very much requested uh, by someone who sent me an email 
about a friend of his. And this friend had uh, two parrots and they both died the same day. Now, I am going to make some assumptions about uh, his friend. I don't know the guy, so I shouldn't judge or make assumptions, but he asked me to do a video about this, so, you know, I kind of feel entitled to do so anyway. So, uh, this guy had two parrots and he decided to clean his oven one day. As many of us sometimes clean our oven, it is normal. A very hygienic thing to do, so kudos to you. But um, he used an oven spray. Now, let me show you what I mean. He did not use... Oh, hello! Oh, you are so... This is not prey, Loki. This is very dangerous. You cannot eat this. Will you jump on my glove then? Will you join the video? Please, entertain my subscribers, will you? Ah, you've discovered that the sock is not edible. Good for you. So, the guy did not uh, specifically use this one. He just used a oven cleaner. But this is the one I use and it is not owl friendly. So he cleaned his oven with a spray like this and within hours uh, his parrots died. Uh, and yeah, I totally believe this story because it's very toxic. Um, the oven spray, you know, gives off fumes that are even toxic for humans because on the instructions it says to uh, ventilate the room really well to not breathe in the fumes so to an owl which is a very sensitive animal it's deadly it really is very deadly um, so Elke you might ask then why do you have this spray in your house oh well because when I clean my oven I make sure Luki is not in the kitchen and if she's in the living room which is the room next to the kitchen, I will make sure to clo close the door, clo clo to close the door of the living room that connects the living room to the kitchen and I will open another door in the kitchen uh, that leads to the garden so, you know, so that the fumes are not, you know, filling the kitchen right away and because, you know, the fumes can get... This video is messed up. <laughs> The fumes can, can get under the, under, 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 under the door, you know. So I, I do it in a very safe way. Um, what I also do sometimes, and this was before Loki was in an aviary, because now she's in the aviary the whole time. So if I want to clean my oven with the spray, I can just do so. And I don't have to worry about her because she's outside anyway. Um, but when she would still be tethered to a perch inside my house, I would just put her in the garage, close the garage door, um, close, uh, open the kitchen door for ventilation and just clean my oven. So she would be either in the garage or in the living room. So what I'm assuming is that the guy uh, whose parrots died, I'm assuming that either his parrots were living in the kitchen or his parrots were living in a room next to the kitchen and the guy left the door connecting the kitchen to the parrot's room open. That's what I'm assuming. Now, you might be like, no, why would the guy keep his parrots in his kitchen? Good question. I don't know. I've heard a story about uh, someone. This is actually a story my mentor told me. No, not my mentor. Um, Actually, um, someone from McFalcon, which is um, an online store for falconry equipment. It's where I bought my glove. And uh, Luki wants food. He told me that he once had a client um, and his owl was always standing in the kitchen. Now, this is the dumbest idea ever because in the kitchen, what do you do? You cook. And um, he told me that when um, the owl finally got his first bath, the water turned completely black. 
because the owl was so dirty, the feathers were so dirty of all of the fumes from the cooking. Um, it was actually animal abuse. This is very unhealthy for your owl. And, um, you know, when you bake French fries or when you fry things, it's very greasy, the fumes, ugh. So the owl, poor owl, you know, poor owl. So I totally understand if you're like, why would he keep his parents in the kitchen? Well, because some people do that. I don't know why. It's really dark in here. I apologize for the bad lighting. Um, but of course, it's also possible that uh, his owls were not standing in the kitchen and he just left the door open and there were just too many fumes for the parrots. So, if you want to use an oven spray like this, you can but make sure your owl is not nearby and make sure to ventilate the room in which you are using this spray and to close off the room from any other rooms. Yeah, that's what this first video is about. Owls are very sensitive birds. Yes, you're flying back and forth, how cute. How entertaining of you. You're making this video so much in more interesting. I love you so much for being so cool and interesting. And I am kind of abusing you by pressing me, by pressing you against my face. And my English is really bad today because I'm making way, way too little videos on YouTube. And I should really change my life and do something about it because my subscribers, they like me. You're so cute! Not talking to myself, but to Luki. So yeah, um, I thought the first video of this series should be about this topic because this person asked me to make this video a long time ago. So this video was long due. I hope you enjoyed this first tip. If you did and you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well because otherwise you might be subscribed but you won't get a notification when I post a new video and then you're gonna miss all of my videos and you don't want that because they're awesome, really. <laughs> and um, yeah, make sure to like this video as well, it really helps my channel grow and I will see you in the next video.